Okay, so factorise the expression 15x squared plus 19x plus 6 and then solve the equation where this expression is put to zero. It becomes an equation where we can solve it. So quadratic, so double brackets, and remember, it's no good just writing x in both of them because that will just give me x squared. I want 15x squared. And, of course, this isn't quite correct, isn't it? Because if I times them, that won't give me 15x squared. However, this is the approach we're going to use, right? So, because it's 15x squared, put 15x in both. Um, over here, then, we need to, um, we need to um, work out a value. We're going to get the uh, uh, pairs to times 2. So, we're going to times this value in front here by the end value. So, 15 times 6 actually works out to be 90. Okay. So, we can have a pair of numbers multiplying to give 90 but adding up to give then 19. Now, you can think of lots of pairs, but one that comes to my mind straight away is 10 and 9, yeah? Because 10 times 9 is 90, of course, but then 10 add 9 is 19. So that one sort of came quite quickly there. So we can put that there. And of course, then to get this right, we need to, you know, because we times by 15 at the start, we need to sort of like pay back, think of it that way. So divide by 15, um, now the first bracket divides by 5, doesn't it? If you look there, common factor of 5. And the second bracket, well that doesn't divide by 15, but that divides by 3. So if you can divide that by 5, divide that by 3, that overall then, divide by 5, divide by 3 is the same as dividing by 15. So divide by 5, I get 3x plus 2. And then divide that by 3, I get um, 5x plus 3. Okay? Um, and then we need to solve, so we put it equal to zero. So you say then either the first bracket equals zero or the second bracket equals zero. So 3x will equal to negative two, so x will be minus two thirds. 5x will be minus three, so x will be minus three over five. 